He gave away $200 million to look at stars. What kind of man gives away everything for a telescope? This Civil War veteran discovered something about money that made giving it away more profitable than keeping it. And I'm going to prove it with math. In 1829, Edmund Albius was born enslaved on the French island of Réunion, off the coast of Madagascar. For centuries, the island's governor had outlawed vanilla farming, believing its shade trees would steal precious sunlight from lucrative sugar crops. But when botanist Edmund Custis arrived to study local plants, he noticed something incredible. Despite vanilla's ban, its vines grew everywhere, thriving in the shade. And in 1817, these wild vines produced one of the world's most valuable beans. Realizing the potential profit, the governor offered a reward. Whoever cracks the code of hand pollination wins 200,000 francs. Everyone tried, but for 300 years, no one could hand pollinate the plant. That is until Edmund Albius, age 12, solved it using a bamboo stick and his thumb in one minute per flower. This discovery destroyed a $50 million monopoly. To understand how, we have to go back to 1811. In the jungles of Mexico, vanilla was worth more than silver per ounce. It was exclusively grown near the city of Tapac. There, a specific bee crawled through the flower's pollen sacs, collecting a special oily substance called vanillin. This made it the world's most expensive flavoring, used only by the richest. Then in 1824, two French spies snuck vanilla seeds out of the country. By 1829, the French colony of Guadeloupe was producing tons of it. Prices plummeted. Farmers in Tapac panicked. Their whole economy depended on this monopoly. So they turned to their last hope, a group of Catholic priests whose mission was to protect sacred plants. Using guerrilla tactics, they fought to save the vanilla bean from foreign competition. By 1838, they had eliminated all competing plants within five miles of Tapac. Any closer, and the vanilla would die. Any farther, and they couldn't control it. As a result, they controlled the world's supply of vanilla. From Topak to Paris, London to New York, smugglers paid the priests handsomely to ensure the vanilla trade remained theirs. That's where Edmund Albius comes in. His discovery made the Mexican monopoly obsolete. With this one stick, he changed the world. To hear how he broke the biggest money secret of the 19th century, click below. Modern Money Lesson Innovation doesn't require education, resources, or freedom, just observation. True wealth is sharing knowledge. Some will benefit more than others. Stay tuned for the billionaire who stole from the king tomorrow. See you then.